Hey, what's up everybody out there? Elric Ferris here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. AMD fans, it's time for you guys to shake, rattle, and rock and roll. The new 990FX chipset has hit the market, and this is a great thing for you guys because it supports the new unlocked FX bulldozer processors that are soon to be released. Also supports 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory in dual channel mode. It also supports both the latest NVIDIA and AMD video cards in both Crossfire and SLI configurations. All really cool stuff. Now, the 990FX chipset isn't supposed to be really much faster than the 890 chipset as far as sheer performance levels go, but what it does do is bring a lot of advanced features over to the AMD platform. So today we're going to see what comes in the box of this new Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Motherboard. So I'm going to set this down the table and we'll get refocused on it. Go ahead and pop the cap right here so you guys can see it. Go ahead and angle it up here. You guys see all that now? I'm going to flip it around real quick, let you guys see the back of the box. Camera wants to probably reset a couple times for this, so bear with him. Okay, now we're going to begin the unboxing. I'll go ahead and pop the cap up here. There's no type of plastic or anything that you have to do on any of the ASUS unboxings. You just pull it out, there'll be a couple folders inside of here. Well, not really folders, but a couple of uh, boxes in here. I'll go ahead and pull these out of here. Take these out of the way. We'll start off like usual. We'll start off with the features. So we're going to go ahead and open the box up here. And I'm going to start pulling this stuff out and setting it from the table. Go. So first off, we have the user's guide. Then we have the Crosshair 5 driver's CD. And then we have a bunch of stickers for all your hard drive cables. This is so you can label them out so you know where they're at. Quite a lot of stuff in here. We have one, two, three. Let's see if there's any more. We have one, two, three SATA cables. These are all for the new SATA 3. Then we have an external USB power cable for powering things up. These motherboards can actually be used. You can uh, operate them through your iPhone. You can actually connect to your computer and operate it, shut it down, and all kinds of cool stuff like that. It's kind of really cool. This is the rear I.O., by the way. Didn't mention that. And then we also have, let's take a look here. i got two different cables I'm going to break out here. Let me open them up out of their packages and bring them over to you guys. Okay, this is a Crossfire cable. And then we have an SLI cable, I believe, as well. Sorry, I don't mean to drag on with you guys. I just want to make sure I give everything to you guys correctly. All right, yep, and then we have an SLI cable. So have one of each of those so far. Then we have a three-way SLI bridge connector. Go ahead and just set that down. Then we have some instant offsets here. These are for setting up the cables to your to your case to over to your motherboard you got that going on right there you also have some quick ties right here this is for doing cable management and all that stuff a couple other things in here guys Just give me a second here got a sticker i'm trying to get the sticker out so you can see it okay i guess this is it i'm gonna just set this stuff on top here this is the sticker and last but not least we have a quick start guide i'm going to go ahead and just try to get that in here without covering anything up and then we get the camera just to zoom in on that and get all a nice shot of that. You can maybe backtrack just so you guys can see all that stuff. This would be called the bundles page on my written review. So if I had a written review, you'd see this as the bundles page. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all this stuff off there so we can show you guys the motherboard. Bear with me a second, guys. I mean, we really could edit the heck out of stuff and make it look professional, stop this, that, and the other. But I think you guys have pretty much gotten used to our free flowing style that we do here. Hope you guys like it. Okay, now we're going to check out the motherboard itself. By the way, this isn't the normal cameraman. This cameraman Shane. We have a new cameraman, and he actually has a name. His name is Shane. He's our new guy. He's behind the camera today. You guys can all say hi to him in the comments section. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this little motherboard out of here. Alrighty. All right. One thing I like, two things I like. It has that new motherboard smell, and the motherboard is pretty heavy. I can really judge a motherboard, maybe not by a book on its color cover, excuse me, but when I pick up a motherboard and it's very, very heavy, you know that's a good quality product. So check this out. We're going to start out right here. We see there's a nice heat sink running all the way across the north bridge. This covers it all the way down. Now, a lot of great features come with ASUS stuff. You get all of the 
low C capacitors, you get the low ferrite chokes. I mean, excuse me, the Japanese capacitors, low ferrite choke, all quality components. They also use a military standard to make sure that their boards are running great. They have a couple of different powered options. Here on board, you have a standard Molex in case you need it. It's kind of old school, but somebody might find that of use. Up here on top, we have the eight pin power. And over here, we have the 24 pin power. You can see around the ZIF socket, there's plenty of area here for mounting up any kind of heat sink you want, whether it be aftermarket, water, or whatever. We're gonna go around over here. There's four dim slots for your memory. Go ahead and just flip the board sideways for a second. Get it back in range. Four dim slots for your memory. Right now, there are only four gigabyte sticks available, but soon there'll be eight gigabyte sticks available, then you'll be able to use 32 gigabytes of memory up on this board. Here's some also nice features over here. You can see that are all really good parts that are all inside of here. We have a little reset button on here as well. So in case you like have your board on a test station or something, you just wanna reset it, you can hit a button right there, it's very easily. We're gonna move on down here. These are all the SATA controllers. All the SATA controllers on board, all are SATA 3, so they support the six gigabit interface. Then we have right here, take a look here. This is a this is a eSATA six gigabyte connector right here. It's on the board right here, a little red thing, zoom in. Once again, we're gonna come over here this is the south bridge. You can see it's completely covered by its own heat sink. Flip it around one more time. Here go all the stuff. You have one, two, three, four of your standard PCIe slots, one of the PCI 1X slots, and then one standard PCI slot. Like I said, this board supports three-way SLI and three-way crossfire, whichever way. Um, also right down here, we're gonna see that there's a couple things in here. We have power, reset, all that stuff's down here. These are also good things for the overclocker. This motherboard has really good sound on it as well. Has that extreme supreme sound, so it should be really good. Better than maybe the Dolby standard. As you can see right here, everything's easy identified for you to hook up all of your cables and everything to the motherboard. We'll flip around, take a look at the rear I.O. Here's all the stuff in the rear I.O. You can see it's got a combination of stuff. Both USB 2, USB 3, eSATA. A lot of good stuff there. Flip it around, show you guys the back of the board. We'll have a full review of this coming in the next few days, but this was the unboxing of this. This is the ASUS Crosshair 5 Formula Motherboard. I'm Eric Ferris. Thanks for watching. Look for the full review here soon on Tech of Tomorrow.